Hi, thank you for watching ABC Networking. My name is Dovia Suning, and the first time I need to say is that I'm very sorry that I didn't post any videos in a while, but my friends at ABC Networking have posted a lot of great videos about some really nice content, so I think there was enough for you to watch on. We always get a lot of feedback on the video series we have on this channel. And the video series, the main goal is to start at the beginning and to build something completely towards the end and add additional features, add additional technical content, etc. And you can edu educate yourself along the way, or you can start building with us when we creating these video series. I've been thinking a lot about what will be a great next video series. And I think I have a subject that is really, really nice for a new video series. It is around Aruba Central, and Aruba Central is the cloud management product of Aruba. We are going to use template groups, and to be more specific, we're going to use template groups in combination with Aruba OS switches. But before we dive into all the nitty gritty details about how you can configure this and how you can create templates, etc., we're first going to kick off this video series with why you want to use template groups. And then the next thing is what are template groups in specific? and what topology we are going to build along the way. So why we want to use the template groups? Well, there is a couple of reasons. So just to give you an explanation, within Aruba Central, you have two types of groups. The first group is the UI groups. This is where you can add switches in the same group, and then you can configure it based on the UI. And then the next group is everything around templates. And with the template groups, there's a couple of reasons why you want to use that. The first thing is flexibility. With the template groups, you are never stuck to what the UI offers you from a configuration possibilities and configuration functionality. No, with the UI, with the template groups, you can configure anything. So you have the broadest flexibility, everything that is supported inside the switch, you can configure with template groups. The next thing is knowledge. If you're looking at the networking industry in general, everybody wants to do some kind of automation, make things more easy and more efficient for their organization or for themselves. But the amount of knowledge we have around CLI, the amount of knowledge we have around networking industry in general and the way we are used to configuring things based in a text file or based on a CLI is big. So with template group, you are combining these knowledge in combination with the flexibility, but more important with the last point here is in combination with skill. So you more or less build a single template and then you can scale out the template. So all the knowledge you have, you can build a template, but not just configuring it for one switch, no configure it for 10, 20, 30, 100, or thousands of switches in the same time. So you're gaining the skill, you're gaining the automation, and you're gaining your flexibility. So that's the reason why you want to use template groups. Let's dive in a little bit more detailed in what is exactly a template group. A template group is not just specifically focused on the Ruba OS switches. It is also focused around IAPs, and even IAPs and switches can be combined in the same template group. This video series will focus strictly on the Ruba OS switches, but just for a bigger understanding of what template groups are, is the reason why you have here, you can have template files for IAPs and you can have template files for switches being part of the same template group. So these template files can be strict to a certain model, can be strict to all IAPs, can be strict to all switches, can be strict to a specific software or model and combination of software. So it's up to you how you design your template goods for your specific goal or for your specific uh, use model. So then attached to the template file, you have variable files. And the variable files are based in JSON. And please don't get very scared because JSON is a very easy language. And the main things we will explain about JSON in the coming video. But this is where you have the variables, where it will be very easy to make changes or to, to get the skill inside your organization. So you have the template files, then you have the variable files, and these two combined will in the end push a config either to the IAP or to the switches. So as said, let's focus around the switches in this video series. So how you design 
your your template groups. That's a little bit hard to give a complete best practice, but the only best practice I can give you is try to get to a common sense where you can design for as broad as possible devices inside one single group. The main reason why I explain this is that if you think about it, if you later on need to make changes or you want to add something to the template or you want to change variables, then the more devices you have into one single template group, the less changes you need to make. So it gives you all the flexibility and all the skill. Otherwise, if you have multiple template groups, which in a lot of in a lot of some environments makes sense to have multiple template groups, but try to get to a common denominator and add as much as possible uh, functionality. So maybe all switches of the same model inside inside one single template group. So it gives you all the skill and all the flexibility and less changes moving forward. So this is a template group. Into the Let's have a little bit of a look on what kind of topology we are going to build. And we were not roughly strict, but this is where we will start with, right? We will start with the you know, Aruba OS 2930F 8-board switch. That's where we start with as a net switch. And then we build it out to some, let's say, two-tier model. So a collapsed core switch, which will be an Aruba 3810M switch. Later on, we will add different VLANs. We will do some hardening. We will add two core switches. And we will also add multiple uh, 2930F switches in order for scale or maybe even not a kind of F switch. That's not yet determined yet, but we will build out this model. So we're going to the 2930F with stacking, uh, multiple 2930F, 3810M, uh, and multiple 3810M. So we build out during this series by constantly using these template groups, creating templates or extending a template adding the variable files or extending the variable files, and then keep on pushing these configurations to these switches, where we will build an infrastructure that is cloud managed, can be highly distributed across the world, very easy for scale, still keep the knowledge of your infrastructure, of your network administrators and your network engineers, and drive uh, automated configuration from Aruba Central. So this is it for the for the first video. This is where I want to kick off with. In the next video, we will have a look how we can create a template group and how we can add the switch inside a particular template group and then start to build a best practice also in how you can best, what is the best workflow in order to start creating templates. And we will start with the 2930F. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to have something that we definitely need to cover, please leave some questions or leave some uh, some remarks uh, under this video. I hope you like it. Please like the video, leave some comments. Thank you very much and hope to see you at the next video.